Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Included Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make Wi-Fi robot tank using ESP32 module and controlled with smartphone. We will send tank control commands from mobile app using WebSocket or Wi-Fi connection. So let's get started and make this Wi-Fi tank. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making Wi-Fi tank, we will need robot tank kit. This kit comes with belts, wheels, car chassis, 2TT gear motors, connectors and screws. We will also need ESP32 module, L298 and motor driver module. 7 to 12 volt DC battery, in our case LiPo 2S battery, double sided tape and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the car now.
Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Attach L298 motor driver module on car chassis using double sided tape. Connect right side motor to out 1 and out 2 pins of L298 motor driver module. Now connect left side motor to out 3 and out 4 pins of motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on car chassis using double sided tape. Now connect L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. We will take plus 5 volt and ground from L298 and motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install the async TCP and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded, go to sketch, include library and then click on add zip file. Select the downloaded zip library file and click add. Similarly, add async web server library as well. Now we need to include the async tcp library and async web server library. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We have defined constants for car movements. We have set the PWM frequency resolution and channel for speed. We need to set the SSID and password for our ESP32 Wi-Fi. We have created web server at port number 80. We will be using WebSocket for tank input control. Then we have created HTML page for our tank control app and stored it in HTML homepage variable. This is main page which will be displayed on mobile when we type IP address. It has all the buttons to control the tank. When any control button is pressed on mobile, it will send particular particular number to ESP32 using WebSocket. It has slider controls to control the speed of the tank. We have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments. It will rotate the motor in forward or backward direction accordingly. Then we have move car function which takes commands like up, down, left, right, stop and move the tank. We have handle root function which will send HTML page when we type IP address on mobile browser. Then we have on car input WebSocket event callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives any command from mobile. If received control is move car then we will call move car function. If received control is speed then we will set the car speed. We have created setup pin mode function to set the PWM channel for speed control. It will also set the motor pins as output. Initially stop all the motors. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then begin Wi-Fi using soft AP mode. Setup callback function on root and on not phone. Then attach the WebSocket handler to the web server. Now begin the Wi-Fi server. Inside loop function we just need to call cleanup clients function to clean up old clients connection. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect battery to tank. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to my Wi-Fi car SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our tank control app. That's it. Let's see how it works. You can use these arrow buttons to move the tank. You can adjust the tank speed using the speed control slider.
<laughs> need to fix it, need to glue it. Please use rechargeable battery only. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.